Welcome to Pascal Bricks Tutorials. I'm Pascal Parent and today we will be looking at creating, hiding, showing and editing certain models inside of Brooklyn Studio. This comes from a question by Mitchell James and he asks, I was curious, do you have a video up on how to build modular boards using Bricklink Studio? I've got a large multi-floor building in mind, but I don't have, I even wanted to execute designing it since I want to be able to go back and see the first floor, second floor, etc. whilst in the building process. I hope this makes sense. Thanks. Well, Mitchell, yes, it does make sense. And um, I know that most CAD programs are a little intimidating. Bricklink Studio is just that, a CAD program, a computer-assisted design CAD. And uh, let me demonstrate to you how I do um, these things, um, particularly on how I use submodels to overcome this problem. I'm sure other people have other ways of doing it. Now, up front, you can embed submodels inside of submodels inside of submodels. I have done so in the past. I've actually gone down to about four levels and it becomes a nightmare to handle. So I don't recommend it. I now go at most at three levels. But first things first, uh, let me uh, introduce you to the police station. Um, anybody that is actually watching this hopefully has seen rendering of the police station in the past. Um, and you will see that I have organized things um, here in the right pane um, in step one and step two. Now the steps are used for completely different pur purposes, um, mostly to create instructions. Um, I will cover that in a future video. Now, today I just want to speak about how I start things and how I get to this point with the ability to return to any parts or sub-models of the, the, mo the main model or the police station in this case. Um, a little, couple of little tips. I often have a standing and a sitting minifig lying around in my model. This is to ensure that everything is to minifig size. Um, in this specific model I wanted to introduce some bikes and have vehicle base so I've actually introduced and built inside of um, a studio vehicles and bikes as well as well as a helicopter for the landing um, for the daily bed, sorry. Uh, some things that uh, I need to cover quickly. Um, scrolling, uh, the mouse scrolling um, will allow you to zoom in and zoom out. Um, space, click, will allow you to move up, down and sideways without rotation. Um, right click will allow you to do the rotation. So right click and hold and you can rotate. Okay, those are the principal um, uh, movements that you will need. Um, right now you can see, and I am gonna collapse, and I'm gonna collapse uh, step one completely because we are not gonna use it at all for the, this demonstration. You can see I have actually split the model into reception and vehicle bay, ground floor, office and first floor, jail, first floor, and you can all also see as I go along that as I select these items, a blue box appears. Uh, I'm gonna do it with the balcony as well. Um, it's white when it's not selected, blue when it is, as you can see. Then there is the office, second floor, helipad, roof, helipad, access and control room, and then the stairs roof. Um, now, the first thing that I want to show you is how to 
show and hide these elements and there are various ways of doing so the first one that I use a lot is I go outside of the uh, model um, I click drag and you can see that you can select multiple at the same time and I am just gonna say hide um, I'm actually gonna hide all uh, another way that you can do is in the pane select shift and click and then all you do is uh, on any of the items and I'm going to just show, uh, show you with the police car hide and you can hide everything so that's a multi-select way of doing it um, if you want to do it uh, another way you can do it in the pen itself you will see these little uh, eyes that are crossed which is this is currently hidden if you click it, you'll see that uh, the item or the submodel reappears. Um, that's how I do it. Now, uh, this is the uh, ground floor. Uh, currently, it is a submodel. For demonstration purposes, I will be uh, releasing the submodel. And there it is. This has no grouping whatsoever. At this point in time you can work on it um, and if you say show all right now it will be part of the route you can actually see it's in between step three and step four here um, and um, you can see every tile as I go you can actually see the items flashing on the screen with the blue um, I often start there. So the ground floor with the base plate, I, uh, I will start there and I will not create a submodel until the ground floor layout is complete. To create one, you just click, uh, drag, right click, oh, sorry, left click, and uh, create. Give it a name, make it a descriptive name. Please. So here I will call it um, of um, sorry re reception and um, vehicle base vehicle base dash ground floor. Okay, and there is okay. And now there it is. Now, how do you edit that without unbundling it? You right click, submodel, edit, and that's the only piece that will be editable. And you can see you've got everything available to you. Um, I'm about to start working on the ground floor interior. And what I would do for that is I would select up to this wall because if you look this wall is in the way because I want to create a reception desk in this in this area and I will literally say hide now that allows me to work in this area and unfortunately I've done it this is my <laughs> first recording I had a problem with uh, the sound and I keep on taking the base plate out you do require the base plate to put things on top of so that they're well aligned and that they snap. Um, and um, pretty much I would start then uh, putting uh, the desk here. Um, I'm just putting bricks just to show you and um, carry on that way. When I'm finished, I will say show all. Now it will only show all in the sub model that you are busy with right now which is fantastic because if it was everything you wouldn't see this anymore to see the rest of the model you will have to go back to main model and i uh, hope you saw this i'm going to show it to you again it is at the bottom uh, right return to main model and you would have to say show all again and it will show the entire model and again you can decide to take out any parts that you want. Um, you can also save whilst hiding uh, parts of the model.
this is not an issue whatsoever and it will show it will actually save the entire model um, I think I've covered most of what I wanted to show you and I hope uh, that uh, Mitchell you have um, exactly what you wanted to to see I will do further Tutorial, tutorials like these in the future. You can follow me um, on YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram. I will leave the links below. And should you want to ask uh, any questions or a specific question on, on, on something that I can cover on a tutorial, you're more than welcome to uh, use any of those channels or you can get to me at um, info at pascalsbricks.co.za which I will also leave at the bottom. You have an absolutely wonderful time, keep building and see you next time.